Hello YouTube, how's it going? Day two of Josh Talk Quick 6, uh, run f 6, I think. I knew I was going to lose count at some point. Uh, it's time for Pokemon Red! Uh, so this is a speed run I know a little bit. I did do a few runs of this last month, uh, and I have written myself a guide based on two other guides. I like smashed two guides together, classic Josh style. Uh, and I got a little tool open which is going to help me calculate some things. <coughs> and we're going to try to do a run of Pokemon Red Any% Glitchless Classic. Estimate of three hours, my PB is two and a half hours. But uh, this run can go real wrong real fucking fast if we're not careful. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I believe auto splitting is enabled. It is, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, what I do need to do is restart the emulator, because that's a legal a spe speed run legality requirement. Uh, and we're gonna set off. And two guides love each other very much. Yes, exactly. Alright. So we're gonna go options, we're gonna set tech speed to fast, battle animation to off, and we're gonna keep battle style on shift for now. But I will t turn that to set later in the run. Uh, and let's go. Uh, da, da. So, Pokemon Red. This is the original Pokemon video game back on Game Boy. It came out. Uh, we're using a Game Boy Color emulator called Gambati Speedrun. Um, which is the emulator that you're allowed to do Pokemon Speedruns with. It's basically like a, an emulator made for speedruns. Um, so it's like, you know, super accurate and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to do a run of this game. Um, this game is super glitchy, uh, super weird with some of its mechanics. Um, we are running the category of Any% percent Glitchless Classic. Um, so I'm re I'm doing Glitchless Classic because regular Glitchless allows RNG manipulation. And that seems not fun. We want RNG. RNG is the fun part of this game. So, so we're going in with all the randomness. I will not be manipulating any RNG at all this run. So we have to actually figure out bad situations. You know, our Pokemon might not have the best stats and all that stuff. We, we actually got to figure this stuff out. Um, so yeah, so and also the category of glitchless, uh, it's exactly what you expect. Um, there are crazy glitches you can do to skip to the end of the game and do a bunch of other insane stuff. Uh, we're not going to be doing any of those, we're going to be play, playing the game as God intended. Uh, and we're going to take Squirtle as our starter. Um, so we get to pick one of three starters, like every Pokemon game, asterisk. Um, and we're going to pick Squirtle. So the plan for this run is that we're going to get a Nidran male. Female won't work, we need a male. Uh, and we're going to train it up to be the best there ever was. And we're going to use that to beat the game. Uh, but I'll do more explaining on Nidoran later. For now, the start, we have to use Squirtle. So, first battle with the rival. There's only one strategy. It's Tail Whip and Spam Tackle. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. So, we use one Tail Whip. Okay, we might be faster. We pray they don't use Growl. He used Growl, that's annoying. Okay, we do one more Tail Whip. But if they tail Growl me again, we just roll with it. Okay, good. Okay, right. So, I tail whipped him. I wanted to tail whip more than they would growl. So, my tail whip lowers his defense. But his growl... Oh, good, he missed. His growl... Oh, I missed as well. Oh, and then he hit. Oh, my God. His growl lowers my attack, right? So, so yeah, we need to try to... Uh, we need to try to even the odds. If he growls me a bunch and I just spam tackle, I won't kill him. Oh, a crit. That was actually good in this situation. Uh, critical hits are really weird in this game. Um, sometimes they're good for us, sometimes they're very bad for us. In this situation, it was actually good, so that's, that's beneficial. Oh, we missed again! Come on, man. Oh, he crit me! Okay. Oh, it's a speed tie! <gasps> he revealed the speed tie at the last minute. Oh my god, we- oh, I crit at the end. Okay, we could have lost that fight. Jesus, if we lose that fight, it's a reset. <laughs> so I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm going to be doing marathon strats this run, so I'm going to be saving a ton, like, before every gym battle, probably, and stuff like that. Just to be able to keep the run going, because, yeah, this isn't, like, regular speedrun attempts. This is a marathon run, I'm going to not mess this up. But yeah, okay, so we just barely beat the rival, thank god. 
Um, I did have a potion, so I could have used that, but I'd rather not, because you get healed after that fight. So any healing I do there is just a pure waste of time. Wow, we didn't find a single encounter in the Route 1. That's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get through the first start, uh, first bit of the game here. Just do the little tutorial thing, go to the Mart. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? I, uh, you know, Professor Oak, right? I got an order for him. Manipulating already, uh, just getting lucky. I do want to find one Pokemon in Route 1. I want to find a level 2 or 3 Ratatata or, uh, or, uh, Spidgey. I need to find one or the other of those. Um, that's because I need to get, like, a teeny tiny bit of XP with Squirtle. Wow, I got fucked, okay. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried I'm not going to find an encounter now. <laughs> diddly 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 diddly. Right, so we're going to talk to Professor Oak from the back here. Uh, that's because this is actually faster, believe it or not, um, than talking to him from the front. The reason it's faster is because of this. You see that walk? Our rival walks really slowly, uh, and he spawns at the bottom of the screen and walks all the way up. So by standing way at the back here, we're making our bottom of the screen super high up, so he doesn't have as far to walk, which makes it faster. <laughs> Which item was really expensive, but you got a voucher, so it became free, the bike. Yeah, that's right. You get a bike for free with a bike voucher. Yesterday, you had four encounters on Route 1. Jesus. All right, well, hopefully we find one encounter here. I Yeah, I need to tackle... I need to kill a level 2 or 3 Pokemon. Uh, and that's because, yeah, I... The plan for this run is to get level 8 right before Brock. Okay, perfect. We need to get level 8 right before Brock so that we unlock Bubble. And then I'm going to use Bubble to, to take out Rock. Okay. Bam. Okay. So we just need to spam tackle on this and he should faint. Oh. Okay. Dee -dee. You've never finished a Pokemon game, so this will be fun. <laughs> yeah. Alright, 16 XP. Good stuff. Yeah, I literally needed like a teeny tiny bit of XP just to... Oh, you bastard. He blocked me. Uh, just enough to be able to uh, level up to the late. Okay, there's another Pokemon I don't care about. Don't need the Ratatata. Okay, good. Right. So, we are now going to go buy some Pokeballs, and we're going to start catching Pokemon. You might think catching Pokemon in a speedrun is pretty slow, but we're going to get uh, insane Pokemon. We're going to get, as I said earlier, Nidoran Mail. Um, so we're going to buy... Eight Pokeballs? Seven. We're going to buy seven Pokeballs. Okay. Right, I'm going to be referring to my notes a lot this run, because I'm going to forget stuff. That's seven Pokeballs I need to buy. Right, so our plan is, we're going to walk over to this bush over here, and we're going to try to find a Nidoran male. We want a level three or a f level four Nidoran male. Nothing else will do. If I find a Spearow, I can catch that as well. Oh, hey. Swinging off. Okay, fine. Spearow is fine. Um, I'm going to tackle it once. Okay. And then I'm going to chuck balls. Okay, come on, Spearow, get in the ball. Good shit. Okay, okay. Spearow is good. Um, so we do need a flying and a cutting Pokemon this run. Uh, and Spearow is great because we can... Uh, we can trade it for a Farfetch'd, which will do both of those things. Uh, Farfetch'd can cut and fly, so we can just have one extra Pokemon. Uh, Squirtle is also good for the run because Squirtle can surf. Um, so I don't need to take like the Lapras from the other guy or anything. I can just use Squirtle for surfing. I reached the Elite Four in Pokemon twice and quit at that point. Really? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Okay, we're getting some more Rattatatas. Don't want these guys. Come on. Level 3 or 4 Nidoran. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Level 3 or 4. Level 2. Fuck! The Jabate, man. The fucking Jabate. God damn it. No, level 2 will not do. We need level 3 or 4. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, this is a thing that's happening. I would have, uh, I would have reset at this point, I think, if I took this long to find a Nidoran male. <laughs> but that's just the way it is, I guess. Alright, come on. Oh my god, how am I finding this many Spearows? 
Spearow is like not of that commoner Pokemon to find in this bush. What the hell? Jesus. Okay, come on. Where's the Nidoran at? Okay. Okay, level three or four. Okay, level three Nidoran. Right, this Nidoran is gonna be our best buddy for the rest of the run. So yeah, as I said, Nidoran male is gonna be our main Pokemon. Um, and that's because he is absolutely fucking cracked for everything we need to do in this run. Uh, all of the, uh, all of the broken mechanics we want to exploit, all of the dumb AI decisions making that they have, uh, that we can also, like, take advantage of, all of it Nidoran is perfect for. If he just gets in the fucking Pokeball... Cheers. Alright. Uh, you'll see how broken Nidoran is by the end of the run. Alright, so we're gonna take him, we're gonna name him A. Right, good. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. So, we caught Nidoran, but we can't use him yet, because he's just level 3 and kind of crappy, and he absolutely will not be able to beat Brock at this point in the run. Way too weak. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna use Squirtle to beat Brock. So Squirtle is really good against Brock because it's a water type, and Brock only has like rock types and ground types. Which are all weak to water. So we just need to level up Squirtle a teeny tiny bit more. Um, well, I say tiny tiny bit more. Three levels. We need to level up Squirtle three levels, and then it'll unlock. Um, it'll unlock uh, Bubble, which is yeah what we're going to use to beat Brock. Oops! Oh my God! Move into the right tile, Josh. Jesus! All right now, avoid this. Good stuff. Right. So we're going to get an antidote here. This is just for safety. Uh, we're about to fight Weedle guy. So I'm avoiding a bunch of trainers here, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go fight a level 9 Weedle. Um, and beating it will give us exactly enough XP with that level 2 Ratatata I beat. Uh, it will give us exactly enough XP to level up to level 8, and then we'll be able to defeat Brock. So I'm going to pick up this potion that's hidden here. Uh, and I'm going to quickly check my Squirtle's health. 12. It's probably fine. Alright. <clears throat> so, we just need to beat just need to beat the, the Weedle. The problem is, the Weedle, like I said, is level 9, and our Squirtle is level 6. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna not get poisoned. Okay, good. And we need to tackle him twice. Ooh, string shot. Okay. Right, so we're gonna tackle twice. A uh, tail whip twice, sorry. That'll lower his defense enough that we can start tail whipping. Ooh, I'm getting kind of low health. Right, I think I should potion from this point. Just for play safety. Yeah, potion below eight. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because he if he crits me with uh, with a poison sting and kills me, I'll be very fucking upset. Oh god, I crit him. Okay, this is one of the times where a crit is bad. So critical hits are weird in this game. When you crit, it ignores status changes, and you do 1.5x the damage you're supposed to do. Um, the problem is, I tail whipped him twice. Okay, good, we killed him. There's level 8. Perfect. Um, so the problem is, I tail whipped him twice, which lowered his defense twice. Uh, so it makes my regular tackles do more damage than critical hit tackles. <laughs> it's really stupid. Okay, good, we got through it. Right. We beat Weedle Guy. We're getting through a lot of, like, filter filters here. Okay, so we're gonna go beat Brock now. Brock shouldn't be too difficult, because our Squirtle is, like, super good. Um, but what we need to do is we can't just beat him straight up. We need to beat him while training Nidoran. Um, so the plan is, is I'm gonna walk all the way this way. And then we're gonna stand here. We're gonna swatch, swap Nidoran to the front. And then we're gonna save for safety, because Marathon runs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the fight with Nidoran. Eventually. We're gonna start the fight with Nidoran in the front. Uh, Nidoran is gonna be a level 3 Nidoran against like a level like 10 Geodude or some shit. Uh, 12, even worse. Uh, so this is a terrible fight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap instantly. But Nidoran was in the fight technically, so he's gonna get... He's gonna share the XP with uh, Squirtle. Now Squirtle... It's just gonna bubble the shit out of these guys and kill them. Oh my god, he has really good special. That is a good Squirtle. Alright, so we killed Geodude, and now we gotta pay attention to uh, Thingy's stats. 
10, 9, 11, 9. Uh, 10, 9, 11, 9. Okay, that's really bad. Ha, <laughs> ha, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, so we're looking, we need a Nidoran that has good stats. Uh, this Nidoran doesn't. Oh my god, it gets worse. Okay, uh... Alright, so, so Nidoran is the Pokemon we're gonna use for the entire run. Uh, we need them to have good stats in order to beat the game. Uh, Nidoran has terrible stats right now. Uh, Nidoran... Oh god, I, I don't even want to say it. Okay, our Nidoran has one thing going for it, and one thing alone. <laughs> right. So we're gonna... We're gonna kill this Onyx. Good stuff. Right, Nidoran's gonna level up again. We're gonna read the stats again. What do we got? It should be 14, 12, 14, 11. 14, 12, 14, 11. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Okay, of course I get a terrible Nidoran for... for the fucking JDQ run. Okay, great. Whatever. Alright, we gotta roll with it. Okay, here's our Nidoran's stats. It is zero... Or two attack. Uh, so sorry. These stats. These stats are on a scale of zero to fifteen. Um. So zero is the worst. Fifteen is the best, right? Nidoran has zero or two attack. It's like the worst one possible. Uh. It has either four, six, or eight defense. It has ten, eleven, uh, ten or eleven speed, which is pretty good. So it's like a really fast Nidoran. Uh, we need to not save. We need to... Uh, oh god, what am I doing? We need to set this to that. And we need to buy eight potions? Eight potions. Okay. Uh, yeah, so so z zero or two attack. Um, it's four, six, or eight defense. Ten or eleven speed. And uh, zero to three special. <laughs> Oh, and also zero to three HP. This Nidoran is fucking awful. I've never seen such a bad Nidoran. <laughs> okay, what's our plan here? We Leer once, and we uh, we Horn Attack twice. Okay. I've never seen such a bad Nidoran. Oh god, it's so awful. These stats would be an instant reset. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this work, but it's looking pretty bad. We might have to reset. We're gonna probably die to Misty. It's probably what's gonna happen. We'll see. I also just used an extra horn attack, which is really bad. I'm gonna run out of horn attacks. Oh, I should have checked stats then. Uh, at level... S we have 27 attack... Health. Oh god, the health gets worse. Oh shit, that's the wrong attack. Uh, you can do this run on a real Game Boy, yeah, no reason. Yeah, this Nidoran is the bottom percentage of Nidoran, yeah. Okay, there's a Horn Attack. We're gonna tackle, because I need to save Horn Attack here. Okay. Jesus Christ. Right, I gotta, I gotta remember to check the stats on the next level up. Okay, we get to see... Next level up, we get to see if we have zero or two attack stats. Okay, tackle. Oh, you f- Oh my god, it's so shit. Okay. Right, level 10, what do we got? It's zero! <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Has zero attack. That's like the most important stat. I cannot believe it. I'm actually gonna save for Shorts guy. I might lose to him. Literally bottom tier Nido. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, I actually, I want to see if I can do this. I really want to see if I can do this. We're gonna try. All right. So this is Shorts guy. This guy is really difficult to beat. Um, and he's going to be even more difficult with a shit Nidoran. Right, so we Tail Whipped. That's good. We want him to use Tail Whip on me. We don't want him to do other stuff. No, don't tackle me. Oh! 
Oh, it's so weak. He's so fucking weak. 17, 15, 18, 4. Uh, 14 even. Okay, that doesn't tell us anything. Ah, oh, Jesus. We have to potion here. We're gonna die if we don't potion. Good thing I picked up an extra potion this run. We're gonna fucking need them. Okay, so we're gonna Leer the Ekans. Alright, then we swap this with this and we won't attack. Okay, Jesus Christ. Extra challenge run, yeah. We're gonna get there. I wanna do it. I wanna do it with a zero attack. Nidoran. At least he's reasonably fast. He has 10 speed. That's not the fastest Nidoran in the world, but he's doing his best. Oh my god, two horn attacks didn't get there. After a tail whip as well. Fuck me. This Nidoran is so bad. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny how bad this Nidoran is. Okay, I'm gonna run out of horn attacks. I have to try to save horn attacks. So... Each attack in Pokemon has a thing called PP, it's power points. Which is basically how many times you can use that attack without going to a Pokemon Center or whatever. Um, I can only use this horn attack so many times and I need to use it a lot in this sequence here. Um, we're gonna have to tackle. Um, I need to... okay. I need to... Uh, I need to save horn attacks because the very last Pokemon I fight is a Metapod. And Metapod's a real pain in the ass. Is it? It's 15 special at least. The Metapod's a real pain in the ass because, um, uh, like Kakuna, the only attack it knows is Harden. So if I attack it, this is just going to use Harden and its defense is going to go up. And its defense is just going to keep rising and rising and rising and it's going to be really hard to kill him. Yeah, so if I run out of my best attack against it, we're going to get stuck. Like, just tackling it for, like, two hours. So we really need to not do that. So I need to try to save as many horn attacks as possible. Because I cannot run out, run out of uh, horn attacks against that Metapod, or we're going to have a bad time. See, this Caterpie is supposed to die in two horn attacks. He didn't. It's going to take an extra tackle as well. Oh my god, this is awful. Do you know what's also bad? The Nidoran's special is also bad as well. Um... So it's not like we can just use special attacks instead. Because he has either one, two, or three special attack as well. <laughs> it's fucking awful. The, he, he has zero or one HP. Zero attack. Four to six defense. Like fucking woo. Ten speed. And one, two, or three special. This is the worst Nidoran I've ever seen. Fuck my life. This is gonna be so horrendous. Okay. Right, let's try this. So this is the last guy. This is the guy with the Metapods. Um, I hope I have enough horn attacks. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, we got loads. I saved the loads. Okay, right, so we just need to kill this Caterpie. Hopefully it string shots me here. I'd love a string shot. Yes, you glorious bastard. Okay. Another one! Oh, he missed, though. Damn it. That would have been nice. Um, oh, he did a third! Oh, he missed again! Oh, if all of those had hit, that uh, would have been really good. Um, so there's this weird glitch in this game, because uh, Gen 1 is broken, where whenever one of your stats gets increased or decreased, uh, the, the stat boosts you have from your gym badges applies a second time, or a third time, or whatever. Um, so the badge from Brock gives me more attack, on all my Pokemon. Um, and uh, every single time I... Uh, every single time I might have a stat drop, uh, or stat increase, I think, uh, the boost from Brock's badge applies again. So every time I get string shot there from, uh, from the Caterpie, it's actually raising my attack as well as lowering my speed. So it would have been like really nice if he had kept doing that because I got, I need as much attack as I can get. Right, we don't need a flying Pokemon, so we can bypass this, thankfully. Uh, right. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. Okay. After the run, could you check the full stats in the data via the save? We have the full stats in the tool. I I'm telling you what the full stats are already. Okay, are we gonna do, um... Are we gonna do... We're g we've got to be doing, uh... 
fight hiker strats. Yeah, yeah, we're doing hiker strats. Okay, so since this Nidoran is so shit, we need to take an extra fight to try to level up as much as possible. So we're going to do what's called hiker strats, and we're going to take this water gun. Ooh, a Paris! Huh. Wait a minute. I could catch this. And that would save me having to get far-fetched. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've got three Pokeballs left. Alright, come on, Paris. Get in the ball! Nice. Okay, sick. We can call this Pokemon D. Okay, cool. Uh, that, that saves a bit of time. I'm getting good luck everywhere else, just not with Nidoran's stats. But maybe the good luck is enough to carry me. We'll see. Right, so yeah, anyway, I picked up Water Gun. Uh, and uh, Nidoran can learn Water Gun for some fucking reason. Um... And that's really good against a uh, rock Pokemon, like I said, so... I'm gonna use the water gun to, uh... To kill... Uh, there's a hiker who only uses rock Pokemon. And we can kill this Pokemon really quick with water gun. Um... Yeah, Nidoran can learn lots of moves for some reason. Like, loads of what things that you wouldn't think he could learn. Uh, because of that, he's, like, super versatile, which is just another reason why he's, like, super good. But, uh, we're gonna get into some real broken shit with Nidoran later. But yeah, Nidoran is gonna be the only Pokemon we use in battle for the rest of the run, pretty much. Oh my god, my attack stat is so fucking low. I had to horn attack this three times. Jesus Christ. Oh no, I'm always supposed to horn attack that three times. No, 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 what am I saying? It's this I'm supposed to horn attack twice. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I might be able to poison sting, maybe? Oh, my defense fell. Okay, that's good. That raises my attack. You be oh, I had a crit. Beautiful, okay. See? I'm getting good luck everywhere else. Uh... 19... Yeah, okay, that doesn't tell me anything. I have 40 health, though. Okay. Alright, okay, on our way. So I'm like, yeah, every time I level up, I'm uh, looking at my stats and plugging it into the program, and it's calculating the exact stats that the Nidran has through maths. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's telling me it ain't good. It real ain't good. <laughs> it's literally like one, zero, four, ten, one. <laughs> right, like... <laughs> Alright, Oddish, here we go. So, uh, I picked up a couple of items just then as well. I got a, I got a rare candy and a... Oh, a nice crit. I got a rare candy and an escape rope. Uh, rare candy is a super good item that lets us level up a Pokemon instantly. Uh, and Escape Rope is an item that lets us teleport out of dungeons uh, and back to the last Pokemon Center we used. Uh, and that's going to be useful in a bit where I want to teleport back to town. Uh, as you can imagine, teleporting is fast. Also, we just crewed level 16. What A is evolving? Oh my god! Fantastic. We now have Nidorino. So Nidoran evolved into Nidorino and is now even better than it was before because now it's a tier 2 Pokemon. Right, we're going to go fight the Hiker. Um, but first, we need to teach Water Gun uh, this one. Right, we're not going to teach it to the wrong Pokemon. I'm going to teach it over L Leer. Like that. Okay, so now Nidorino know, knows Water Gun, and now we're gonna fight the- Ah, oh, really one tile. Okay, whatever. It's a fucking Zubat as well. Yeah, that your Pokémon earn stats in lots of different ways, Mega Science. Whenever your Pokémon defeat another Pokémon, they gain a stat from beating it, uh, based on what type of Pokémon that is and stuff. It's pretty complicated. But yes, it is sort of correct that using a rare candy to level up isn't better than just fighting Pokemon, right? Anyway, this is the Hiker. Uh, this is Hiker Strats. Um, yeah, we're doing this to just get more XP. Because uh, by God, we fucking need it. We need as much XP as we can get. I don't know what stats defeating rock Pokemon gives you, but... I'm gonna fucking do it. Okay, good, right. 
Okay, then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna get this item here. This is called a Moonstone. This is a super important item that we're gonna use in a minute. Okay. So, the reason I'm really scared right now is because the next gym is the hardest gym in the entire game for me. We're gonna go into Misty's gym, which is water Pokemon, and uh, Nidoran is a ground type, so he's walk, he's weak to water. Um, and it's just gonna be a super hard battle for us with uh, with how shit our Nidoran is. Uh, I do have some some subs and stuff, and I should probably be reading. Um, one moment. Uh, by the way, that Nidoran I was talking about, or Nidor Nidorino, uh, it's now a Nido King. So this is the Moonstone item. Uh, Moonstone is an item that, that evolves certain Pokemon, uh, and Nidorino is one of them. It evolves into Nidoking. We now have a tier three Pokemon. Uh, Thirty minutes into the game, which is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna fight this guy with our fucking tier three Pokemon. Do do. So we get a really big power spike at this point in the game. Uh, anyway, thanks uh, Solitude for the twenty pound donation. Uh, they say thanks for all the streams through the years. Hash random. Damn, hash random is over two hundred pounds ahead of chat voted now. Crazy. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna walk up here. Fight this guy. How many Gen 1 misses so far? I don't think any have happened from my end, maybe to me. Uh, thanks Mathis Dev for giving a sub to Steegy and Quaker as well, by the way. Bang. Okay, we're getting through it. Level 18. Okay, let me just, uh... 36 defense, 34 special. Okay, right, so it's not zero in everything. So here, here's the Nidoran, the Nido King's stats, okay? It has fifth, it has one HP. Uh, this is this is from 0 to 15 again, I'll, I'll stress. It has 1 HP on a scale of 0 to 15. It has 0 attack. It has 6 defense, 10 speed, 3 special. So the speed is pretty good. Uh, the sp everything else isn't. Everything else is fucking awful. <laughs> yeah, hi Blondie, yeah. it's going alright. I have the worst Nidoran I have ever seen though. <laughs> Which is my concern right now. Do, 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 do. And yeah, we pick up the helix. It's the uh, fastest item to pick up. Do, do, do. Bigger webcam more, Josh. Yes, hello, Faye. Do, 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 do. Faye, I'm doing a Pokemon speedrun and I got the worst Pokemon I've ever seen. The worst Nidoran. I just read out the stats. It has like out of a, on a scale of zero to fifteen, it's uh, checks notes zero. <laughs> okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do the run. I might fail though. <laughs> right. So here's a hidden rare candy. Um, so you may notice that I have two rare candies in my inventory right now. Oh, I need to toss the antidote, by the way. I never did that. Uh, almost forgot to do that. That would have thrown me off a lot later. Um, yeah, so this Nidoran is fucking awful. This is going to be really hard. Oh, their Starmie is still faster than the Nidoran? Oh my god, really? After everything I've done? Jesus. Uh, no, I didn't attempt any resets because I thought using a terrible Nidoran was going to be funny. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it'll be funny. 
Energy levels check. Yeah, I'm good. I just ate the uh, lasagna, a bunch of salad, and some garlic bread for you. It was quite nice. Baby, baby, baby. The salad is just a bunch of leaves, though. <laughs> I just chucked a bunch of leaves on top of the, the lasagna. <laughs> but it's good enough for me. You need 13 speeds to outspeed Starmie, right? Okay. Okay, we don't need to look at stats anymore. I've, uh, I've confirmed with 100% certainty what the stats are. Okay. Thanks, Mathis Dev, for uh, five pounds. Uh, who says, just says, nice, hash random. Thanks. Oh my god, I almost died to the Rattata. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just quick salad is good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, can the Bulbasaur kill me? Uh, hope not. Leech life. Okay, sick. Good job, Bulbasaur. Alright. Okay. Right, let's go fight Bug Catcher number one. So I could do this thing called Red Bar here in order to go fast, but I'm uh, gonna not do that because I need to play fucking safe with this Nidoran. And also, I wouldn't do it anyway with a marathon run, I'd, I'd play it safe. So if I get low health, I'm just gonna heal. Bling. Okay. Blee blee. Right, so we're gonna horn attack this guy. Oh yeah, anyway, the rare candies. Yeah, so I have two rare candies right now. Um, Nido King has a really big power spike at level 23, where he'll get the attack uh, Frash, which is a really good attack. Um, we want to get there as quick as possible. So I'm gonna just use all these low levels to get to level 21. Because um, the higher level you are, the more XP you need to level up. So we're just going to stay low level for a bit until we get to level 21. And then I'm going to use all of the... Um, I'm going to use all of the... Rare candies to then shoot straight to 23. And then get the power spike. Right. Horn attack has a 16.4% chance of one-shotting. Didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Poison thing. Right, Nidoran. Uh, this Nidoran can do seven damage if it crits me. Did six. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright, well, I don't think I need to heal. Uh, wait, did I level up? No, I didn't. I think I do need to heal, actually. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck, I needed to heal really badly. Uh, okay. We have a 74% chance to one-shot this Ratatata. If he hits me with a quick attack, he can't kill me. Okay. Uh, we could one-shot it. Okay, good, alright, alright, that was really risky. Uh, Ekins. Uh, Ekins could wrap me, which would kill me, which- Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that! Oh no! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Holy fuck, I almost threw the run. Jesus Christ. Uh, I meant to heal and I threw a fucking Pokeball like a twat. Oh my god. Why can you even throw the Pokeball? Oh my god. Okay, alright. I didn't remember that you could throw Pokeballs and it just wastes it and then it's like, hey, don't be a thief. I thought it- well, that was a 31% chance to do that. I thought it would just not let me do it. Oh my god, okay. Well, there goes a the Pokeball, I guess. I need to sell those. Alright, we're gonna- so I've leveled up to level 21. Um, we're now gonna use Rare Candy twice. Uh, to reach level 23. Like this, we're gonna learn Frash. So yeah, this move is really strong. It's like a really good move. We're gonna teach it over... Tackle. Um, yeah, so this move is so strong. Uh, you'll see why shortly um, in this fight here. So Thrash is a move with a really high attack stat. Like, it does a lot of damage for this point in the game. Uh, and, as an added benefit, it locks me into using it when I use it. Um, so if I use Thrash here, 
I'm stuck in using Frash. I can't use anything else. Sounds like a negative, but it's actually a positive because it doesn't ask me to pick my move again. Like Nidoran just does it, and Nido King just does it, right? Um, and that's really good for speed purposes, because it just means the battle just happens, like, automatically. <laughs> Once I click that button, we're locked into it for three to four turns. Yeah, it only uses one PP as well, which is really good. But yeah, it makes it so that, um, so that the battle goes faster, and, uh, and it's just a powerful move in the first place. Okay. Bang. Nice. Do, 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 Okay. Uh, it does mean we have to play kind of YOLO, though, because once I click the button, we're attacking for three to four turns before I can do anything else. Um, and uh, since it's random between three to four turns, I can't predict what will happen afterwards. And the problem is when Frash ends, Nidoking gets confused. And when Nidoking is confused, it can attack itself, which would likely kill us instantly if that happened. So we need to make sure that when we click Frash, we absolutely will win the fight. Because if we don't win the fight after we click Frash, we're going to be in a bad spot. Okay. Meow. Do do do. Uh, thanks, uh, Coolio, for 22 months of tier 1. Hello. Okay, right. So we're going to fight the bottom hiker here because I do have water gun. Don't want to fight the top hiker. So I'm going to come over here and fight this guy. This guy has an onyx. But because we have water gun, we can just one shot it with the water gun attack. Meow. Bling. Okay. Let's not make. Let's not click frash here. Clicking frash would be really bad. Okay, water gun. Thank fuck for that. Okay, good stuff. That's a lot of XP we earn as well. Right, let's go this way. Fight this lady. So this part of the run does get a bit brain dead because like every single fight I just click frash and then the fight ends. <laughs> Uh, so there's not much strategy here, uh, and including against Misty, our strategy for Misty will be to click Frash and pray. Um, but it's really scary. I probably will lose to Misty multiple times. I will definitely 100% save versus Misty. So this Ratatata, if it quick attacks me, could deal up to a 10 damage if it quick attacks and crits me. It has done neither of those things. Good stuff. This Ekans can't do shit, it's just gonna die to Frash. Okay, good. This way and uh, talk to this lady. Okay. I think my strategy for Misty is that I'm just gonna take the Pokemon Center. I'm not gonna bother using potions or anything. Um, we need as many potions as we can get for stuff to sell later. Um, I also think I might take the. Uh, the underground nugget as well, maybe? We'll see. But I definitely want to do every single safe strat I can do with this Nidoran. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Right, so we've done all the fights we need to do, now we need to talk to this guy who says he's not joshing me. There you go. So this is Bill, when he turned himself into a Pokemon. Which to me sounds like the greatest scientific discovery of the age. Being able to turn yourself into a Pokemon. Uh, but, you know, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to undo it and then never talk about it ever again. 
Uh, and we're going to get his uh, escape rope from him. Oh, sorry, so we're going to get his SS and ticket, even. We're going to get a, a ticket to a party from him. And then we're going to escape rope, because for some reason, his house counts as a dungeon. And lets us, uh, lets us teleport out of it. <laughs> right. We're then going to go straight to the Pokemon Center, because we're taking no fucking risks this run. Thanks, Blondie, from converting from a Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Did you get 25% off for that? Out of interest. Okay, so we just took the Pokemon Center because I'm taking no risks at all. We want to be full health and everything. Uh, you did? Okay, cool. Right, and then here's Misty. So we need to fight one of her subor subordinates first. But this fight is pretty simple. It's just Goldeen and it will just... Uh, hopefully, it will do nothing. It did, hence why I did it. Nice, okay. So we're just going to thrash twice. Oh, we crit! Oh, that's such a good crit. Okay, we get to be absolutely full health against Misty. Alright, sick. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to save for safety. Okay. Here we go. Pray. This is going to be the hardest fight in the entire game, I think. I say that about a lot of fights, though. This is going to be a really hard fight. One of the hardest in the game. So, Star, you should just go down in one hit, even with our shit stats. Right, okay, but this is where it really comes in. Star me can just fucking obliterate me if he wants. Okay... It's a strong star. X defend is kind of shit. Okay, we need Frash to be four turns. Okay. Oh, we won! Oh my god, I don't believe it. <laughs> we beat Misty. It wasn't even that scary. Woohoo! Alright, nice. Hell yes. Dude, I am 13 seconds ahead of my PB right now. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my god, this Nidoran's gonna go all the way. And yeah, thanks Dub, uh, thanks Irish Blondie, sorry, for uh... For uh, do I wanna use this? No, I don't. Thanks Blondie for uh, yeah, three months of tier one, alright, sick. Yeah, if I can use the 25% off, right? David prevails over Goliath once again, yeah. Okay, we're on our way. Ahead of PB with a joke run, yeah. My PB is not that great, would you believe it or not? <laughs> okay. We beat Misty. On to, on to Surge. So we've got to fight this guy. You'll never guess what my strategy is. It's Frash. I don't believe he can do much damage to me. Yeah, no. Nothing. Throwing that Pokeball transformed the run. Yeah. Thanks, Condev, for uh, five months of Tier 1. Hello. I am having fun right now. Uh, until this run goes wrong, that is. I'm having fun until then. <laughs> but I haven't made a mistake yet. Okay, so we're gonna get Dig from the rocket. Uh, if you fought Hiker, faint, faint one encounter if you see it. Okay, notes, I shall. So we're gonna, in fact, I'm gonna do safe strats and I'm gonna intentionally look for one extra Pokemon. Uh, just to make sure I do faint an extra Pokemon. Because it's obviously telling me to do that because it's safer, so we're going to do that. Ah! Right, okay. Is there a thing in this underground? I think it's here, right? If I see it, I'll grab it. If I don't, I'll just keep going. Yeah, no, whatever. That's fine. Uh, thanks, Flo, for something. Hang on, I need to concentrate a second. Oh, an encounter! Okay. Thanks, uh, Flo, for giving five gift subs randomly. Thank you. Alright, a level 15 or Oddish. So, uh, we're just gonna thrash the Oddish. And I'm gonna press this button to tell the tool that I killed an Oddish, which may be relevant. Okay, so that should be relevant for some reason. I don't know what it is, but the, the, the guide tells me to do it. So, it must mean I get, like, an extra level at some point that's relevant. I, I don't know. It must be important for some reason. Okay. 
Yeah, Hossel's in there, yeah. Fluffiness the cat, I know that person. Yeah, a few people I recognise. Okay. Right, this Pidgey could quick attack me, and it could do up to 9 damage if it crits me. Sick. Put me into red bar. I think it did 8 damage, right? That was pretty lucky. Uh, right, can any of these Pokemon do 14 damage? Uh, this is Raticate's guy. His Raticate, if he crit critical hits the quick attack, can do 13 damage. So this shouldn't be scary. I should live this. I should live this. <laughs> quick attack. He didn't even use quick attack. Okay. Uh, so you hear that a sound effect that's happening right now? That's called Red Bar. Uh, that's actually really convenient. Because uh, while that sound is playing, uh, the game goes faster for a bunch of reasons. Uh, I'll explain that in a moment. I now need to do things. So, Viridian Mart. We need to sell all the Pokeballs I have. One. Fantastic. Uh, oh, and sell the Nugget as well, Josh. Uh, sell TM34. Uh, buy... Uh, what are we buying? We're buying free repels and uh, four paralyzed heals. Okay, good. Right. Uh, yeah, so anyway, while that sound is happening, the game can't play other sound effects of certain types, uh, or it just makes those sound effects faster for reasons. Um, so us having that red bar, it's called, sound effect, it's like the sound of like, oh no, your Pokemon's low health, look out. Um, that is like super convenient for us. Do 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 But obviously it's risky because it means we're low health. So yeah, if you want to do an optimal speed run, you have to be at like 10 health the entire run. Alright, rival fight. So, we need to be very careful here. Um, I think I actually need to heal. So his Raticate, if he critical hits the Hyper Fang, will do 22 damage to me. Um, which is enough to kill me. Ooh, this quick attack can do 13. Okay, I didn't do that much. Okay, we're definitely going to heal. Ooh, I could have died then. Jesus. Oh, what am I doing? I'm stuck in fucking Frash, aren't I? Oh my god, I could have died. I should not have used Frash on the Pidgeotto. Okay, we're gonna... Here's the plan. We're gonna switch to... Uh... We're gonna switch to C. I can recover this. C's gonna instantly die. So I'm switching... I'm switching because, uh, because A is confused now. Alright, we're gonna... Am I faster than Ivysaur? No, we have to frash it twice. I have to heal. Okay. And used Vine Whip. Oh, it crit me! Stop! Stop the madness. Don't crit me again. Don't crit me. Okay. I should win? Don't crit. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I could have healed by sacrificing another Pokemon, but I just sacked one. I didn't want to sack another. Would have taken ages. Oh, I guess Squirtle would have died quite quickly to it. Okay, whatever. Anyway, fucking hell, that was close. Um, yeah, I goofed. I, I instantly clicked Frash on Pidgeotto, which was a massive mistake. I absolutely should not have done that. I'm lucky to be alive. Okay. Um... Yeah, what could have happened was that I would have, um... I, w I got confused, right, so I could have killed myself. But also, Raticate and Pidgeotto could have both killed me. That was uh, a really big mistake. Um, I'm actually gonna fight the guy, uh, in here for the candy. Um, in this room here, there's a gentleman... No, not this room. In this room here... There's a gentleman on the left. Um, I'm just going to heal. 
There's a gentleman on the left here, and he's guarding a rare candy. Uh, we're gonna take this rare candy for safety strats. Um, this is like a really, like, pussy mode safety strat, but I, I really do not want to die. <laughs> so, since I'm doing a marathon run, we're gonna take it. And since my Nidoran is so bad, I, I kind of feel like I have to take it. Blip. Okay. I've used so many potions, I really hope I don't run out of potions. Okay, so this is a rare candy. Okay. Right. Let's leave. I'll use the rare candy in the cut menu? Or should I use it in the EQ menu? No, we're using it in the cut menu. My Nidoran is so shit. Go to the lottery, Josh. You clearly have an aura right now. This is extremely typical Josh luck. I got super unlucky with how shit the Nidoran is, but then I'm getting lucky everywhere else in the run. <laughs> and it's making up for it. Okay, I don't need to trade in for ducks, because I don't need... To, I have a Pokemon that can learn cut. Bloop, bloop. Okay. So, in order to beat... Uh, in order to go to Surge's gym, we need to use the move called Cut to cut down a bush. Um, so we're gonna teach Cut right now. So we're gonna swap this with... Oh, no. We're gonna teach TM11, which is Bubble Beam, uh, over Poison Sting. Okay, we're then going to swap Potion down with Repel. We're going to teach HM01 to Paris. Good. We're going to teach TM28 to Squirtle. We're then going to use the additional rare candy on A. And then we're gonna use cut to cut this bush. Okay. Right. Time to do the trash can puzzle. Not here. So I need to find the trash can or a button. There it is. And we're gonna save. Okay. And now we're gonna check this trash can. Okay, it was the second one there. Good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Didn't need to worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna go this way because I don't want to fight these trainers. Okay, we're just gonna save against Surge. I'm gonna save on every trainer fight uh, and every uh, gym leader just to be safe. I don't think I needed to save there, but whatever. Okay, so this is Surge. Surge shouldn't be too difficult because I have a ground type Pokemon and all those Pokemon are electric. I don't know a ground type attack yet. Um, is ground even good against electricity and attack? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna win this fight easily. Um, so we're gonna thrash a bunch. Okay, good. Just one thrash. We need four thrashes to be lucky here. Right, hopefully we get an extra thrash or crit or something. Okay, we didn't get an extra thrash. So I'm gonna switch to Squirtle. And hopefully it's going to just kill Squirtle instantly. Good stuff. Okay. The reason we want Squirtle to die here is because if he doesn't, he'll take XP away from me. Um, there we go. <clears throat> uh, and yeah, I, I couldn't use Frash again because I, uh, I was confused. I could have killed myself if I wasn't careful. Alright. So I get TM24, and then we leave the gym. So we're now going to go across the road. Oh, and we're going to go into the bike shop, and we're going to get the bike voucher. So there's a man at the back of, back of, this, uh, back of this Pokemon fan club who's going to tell us a really long story. But if we listen to it, we get a bike voucher for it. I am not getting Mew this run. Oh shit! 
Thanks, Lancer77854 for the £51 donation. Uh, they just say hash random, so hash random's even more ahead now. Uh... But it put our donation total to 1,420.69. Very good. What am I doing here? Uh, we're gonna get the bike from the bike shop is what we're doing. Okay. Hello, bike shop employee. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Lancer. Very good. <laughs> okay, exit the shop. Right, so we're gonna swap the bike. Helix fossil with the bicycle. So the bicycle's really good because um, the bicycle makes us move faster, which as you can imagine is fast. Uh, we're going to teach it over Leer or Water Gun. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so we've got Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, so this is what the bike does. Whee! It makes us go fast. And we also get some cheery music, which is wonderful. Right. Onwards. Right, so this is four turn Frash Girl. That's what her name is. Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do uh, we're not gonna do four turn Frash. We are absolutely doing this uh, safe mode. So if instead we're gonna horn attack and then Thunderbolt. So close. Full carbon. I don't think they had carbon bikes back in uh, 97 or whenever this game came out. Okay, now that we've killed that one, we can now fresh. Yeah, the reason she's called four turn fresh girl is because the most optimal strat is to just click fresh at the start and pray that you get a four turn fresh. Uh, but I uh, don't feel like doing that. Alright, level 30, good stuff. Okay. Alright, so I need to not fuck this up. Not travel the wrong way here. Good, so we need to fight this guy. This is Bug Catcher. Uh, Bubble Beam has a 100% chance to kill. So we're gonna use Bubble Beam. As per the notes. Beautiful. Yeah, so my, my Nidder King might be understated, but I've over leveled him quite a lot now because of using the uh, rare candy and stuff. And, uh, and hiker strats. Things just get a lot easier the, the higher level Nidder King is, obviously. So we should be okay. If I just keep doing, uh, keep doing backup and safe strats, we should be alright. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Okay, time for my least favorite part, uh, and that's going through this tunnel where everything's fucking invisible. Okay, so we start here. We go down over to here. We talk to. Oh, fuck. oh shit! I'm supposed to use a rappel. Whoops. <laughs> dum dum. Right, let's use a repel to get rid of the enemy Pokemon appearing. Uh, oops. Right, there's the Pokemon trainer. Uh, so, plan against this guy is to Bubble Beam and then Thunderbolt. So we're going to Bubble Beam the Cubone because he's weak to it, and then we're going to Thunderbolt the Slowpoke because he's weak to it. And I'm not going to click the wrong attack at any point and fuck myself. Blank. <laughs> What a silly Pokemon. Do you ever see Slowbro in this run? I think you do, right? The Elite Four lady has it, doesn't she? Okay, uh, and as you can see, I am uh, i can't see anything. <laughs> so I'm navigating this with pure muscle memory. No, okay, I'm using a map, but... <laughs> but it's still difficult. Bling! Bling! Right, we're going to Thunderbolt the Slowpoke. Hi, Slowpoke. Right, we're 
gonna go this way. And up. And I think I am gonna take the hidden mansion candy as well. Uh, right, so our strat here, Oddish Girl, is to thrash. <laughs> Sleep powder? No way! Uh, what do I do if Nido King gets put to sleep? Uh, do I just keep clicking until Nido King wakes up? Does Nido King wake up ever? He woke up! Get him! Oh my fucking god. Do we live this? Bubble saw slower, right? Oh my fucking Christ. Okay, 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 Don't panic, don't panic. Okay, go this way, then this way, then all the way over here, then we use a repel. Then we go up a bunch, and then left, and then down. Then we go across, down, across, down, across, up. Then we go across, down, more, all the way, across, up, take this fight. Oh Jesus, somehow I'm still alive, yeah. Thanks Anonymous for the £2.99 pence donation. Some people just want to watch the world burn hash random, gee thanks. Hey, I wonder what attack I use this fight. Alright, so I'm going to red bar this fight because I'm pretty sure these Geodudes can't do anything against me. Even if I, like, Gen 1 miss, I should be fine, I think. Copium. Graveler might do something, though. Okay, we're fine. Can't they explode? Nah, nah, nah. Never, nah. Uh, right, so I'm going to go right there. So I'm going to go... Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Okay, right, we're almost at the exit. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Meowth, that's right. Crash. Perfect. Meowth. Do 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 Right, then we go down and across and out this way. Hooray! We get this Max Aoife. Okay, good stuff. Uh, right, then we go this way. We don't fight this guy. There goes Repel. I have plenty of steps left. Right. Um, this guy. Uh, we want to go this way, and then we go over here, and then I'm going to use a potion. Okay. Right. Growlithe. Yeah, so Growlithe could have done 18 damage to me, and I had 12 health, so I could have died, yeah. So, I needed to use, uh... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I, I might have died. It, it was possible I could have died if I didn't heal there. So, I had to do it. Uh, we thrashed this Vulpix, funnily enough. Ow! Four damage. Okay, good. Uh, right, then we go down, across, very carefully up. Very careful here, because there's a lot of extra fights I could take if I'm not careful. Okay, I've avoided it. Right, and then we're going to go down here, and then we're going to look for an elixir. I'm going to do this nice and slowly, because I don't want to miss it. There it is. I'm also going to get the underground nugget. 
two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this this nugget here is an extra item that I don't technically need to get, but it's just gonna make my life a bit easier later. Okay, right. Or well, I say later, it's gonna make my life a bit easier now, hopefully. Whee! Okay. So we're gonna go to the uh, Celadon Mart. This is the biggest shopping center in the whole game, and we're gonna do a uh, fuck ton of shopping. Shopping time. So we're going to go over here, we're going to talk to the guy on the left. And we're going to buy... Uh... 10 Super Repels. And... 4 Super Potions. We're then going to sell this nugget that I just picked up. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna go to the fourth floor. Hello? Lady! What the... Can I help you? I've never seen that happen. What on earth? She just totally blocked me. What the hell? Okay. Crazy. Sorry, we're gonna go to the top floor. And we're gonna buy a fresh water. Twice. And then we're gonna buy a soda pop. And then we're going to walk over to this little girl over here. And we're going to give her... She's thirsty, chat. We're going to give her a soda pop. We're going to get TM48. And then we're going to give her... A fresh water. And it's going to give us... TM13, which is Ice Beam. So we've got Rock Slide and Ice Beam. Okay, then we're going to go down one floor. And we're going to go talk to this guy on the left. This guy sells X items, which are the most broken items in the entire game. And we're going to buy 16... 17... 16... X accuracies. We're going to buy one X special. And we're going to buy nine X speeds. How much money do I have left over? A lot. We're going to buy an extra X speed. Wow, these are cheap. What the hell? I've got so much money. Uh, we're gonna buy two more X accuracies, an extra X, two extra X speeds, uh, and an X special. Okay. Okay, cool. Right, that's so much stuff I have. So I definitely have enough items to get through the game. We have so many because I took the nugget in the underground tunnel. I have so much extra money. Right, we're gonna take the elevator down. Yeah. So X items are completely broken in this game. Um. It's an item, as a kid, you never use because it sounds bad, but uh, it's not. Uh, right, so before I explain that, though, I'm going to go over here. Oops. I'm going to use cut on this bush. Uh, like this. Was I supposed to use Pokemon Center, by the way? It doesn't say I was supposed to use Pokemon Center. Alright, fine. Right, and we're gonna go into this little hidden house here, and we're gonna get the most important move in all of casual playing, but also the speedrun. We're gonna get HMO2. Uh, HMO2 has fly in it, which is a really important move. We're then gonna swap this at tickets with the X accuracy. We're gonna go down two, and we're gonna teach HMO2, which is fly. We're gonna teach it to our bird Pokemon. We can now fly around the map, which is very fast. We're gonna go TM13. And then we're going to use this. We're going to fly to... Celadon. Jesus. I was like, where are we going? We're flying to Celadon. Uh, we're then going to teach TM13 Ice Beam to Nidoking uh, over slot 4. Which is Bubble Beam. So we're now going to have Ice Beam, which is a really strong attack we're going to keep for the rest of the run. Oh, and then we're going to use Bicycle. And we're going to go over to the game corner. Alright, hideout. So there's a hidden Team Rocket base in this uh, casino place. Uh, so we're going to go beat them. We're unfortunately not going to do any gambling. Thank you, Humbo Shot, for the four months of Tier 1, by the way. Hello. Okay. 
So, uh, Team Rocket's base underneath this hide, uh, underneath this uh, casino place, is super complicated, and I hope I don't fuck up where I'm going. <laughs> wow, we killed that in one frash. What the hell? Our Nidoran is ridiculous because we've taken all of the extra, extra uh, XP everywhere. <laughs> we're such a higher level. I think we're supposed to be level 30 at this point. We're level 32. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's try to navigate this place without getting lost. So we're gonna go down one. We need to go around here. I need to not take any extra fights because that'd be bad. Right, we then need to go this way. And we have to solve this puzzle. Boop, do do boop. Boop, do do boop. We get some sick music though while we're doing it. Okay, good. That's that puzzle solved. Now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna talk to this dickhead. Or just do that, I guess. That also works. <laughs> Whatever, it don't matter. Do, 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 do. Right, this is the lift key rocket, as he's called. Uh, we're gonna defeat him and he's gonna give us the key to the lift. I'm running out of frashes and I'm a little concerned about it. I hope I don't need Frash. I think I'm fine, so I'm going to learn Horn Drill in a minute. We're going to teach it over Frash. And I get to teach you guys about how broken X items are. Right, here's the lift key. That's good. So now we're going to go this way. We're going to go here. Um, then we're going to go up here. And we're going to get this rare candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. I'm gonna go this way. Do 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 do. Okay, good. Uh, then we're gonna go take the elevator to floor. Uh, where's the elevator? Oh shit, I'm lost. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Where was I supposed to go? Ah oh, fuck, I've done something wrong. Wait, hold on a minute. So I was here. I went this way. Oh yeah, 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 I need to go this way. Right, yeah, yeah, no, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I need to solve this puzzle, then take the elevator. I'm being an idiot. Okay, I've got it. Right, we're going this way. Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad, my, my, my notes are a little bit wrong here. It's fine, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, now here, this item right here, this is the most broken attack in the entire game. This is Horn Drill, uh, TM07. Uh, and I'll get to show you how broken that is shortly. In combination with X accuracy, it's absolutely fucking bonkers. Um, basically, what's going to happen is uh, Horn Drill uh, is an attack which, if it hits will one hit KO the enemy Pokemon. Doesn't matter what their stats are, doesn't matter how much health they have, it will just one shot them. It, it, it's irrelevant, everything else. The problem with it is that it has a really low chance to hit. Um, I don't remember quite what the chance is or whatever, but it doesn't matter for this run because we're never going to use it that way. What we're going to use, um, hold on a sec, we're going to stop here, we're going to swap the potion with Super Repels. We're going to teach Rock Slides over slot 2. Which is Horn Attack. Then we're going to use the Super Repel. Then we're going to swap Helix Fossil with X Speed. Then we're going to teach TM07 Horn Drill. And we're going to teach it to over Frash. We don't need Frash anymore. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, so we have Horn Drill now. Um, X accurate sign of your What's. Okay, uh, right grunt first. So, Horn Drill only has a 30% chance to hit, but we have an item called X accuracy. What the X items do in Pokemon games is they raise your Pokemon stats temporarily for the battle. 
Um, but, uh... Oh, I was supposed to... Oh, shit. Uh, wait, I'm an idiot. Hold on, I'm choking. Okay, it's fine. Uh, is it fine? Hmm. Wait, how fine is this? We're gonna find out how fine this is. We're gonna use X accuracy. He bit me. Charlie bit me! Right. The X items in this game are supposed to make it so we uh, raise our Pokemon stats temporarily for the fight. And that's what all the other X items do, like X Speed, X Special, all that stuff. It just raises that stat temporarily for the fight. X Accuracy, though, is completely busted. X Accuracy, what you would expect it to do is just raise your Pokemon's accuracy for the fight. The problem is, accuracy is not a stat that Pokemon have. It's like a thing moves do. It's like a totally different thing. Um, so what they did instead is if you use an X accuracy on your Pokemon, they just don't check accuracy at all. It just doesn't matter. They just don't do it. A the accuracy, the part of the code that checks accuracy, you just skip it. It just doesn't happen. That That's how they deal with X accuracy. <laughs> um, oh, I needed to heal to 11 plus HP for Giovanni. Whoops. Hold on a second. I'm choking again. How much health do I have? Okay, good. Uh, so we're going to use X accuracy here. So, oh, that's bad. Uh, I'm going to use a potion. Yeah, he got me in a bind. That's annoying. Uh, we're going to try to use Ice Beam. Okay, we did it. It's fine. Um, yeah, so, so by using X attack, uh, we just don't... It just doesn't check... Uh, sorry, using X accuracy, it just doesn't check accuracy anymore for the rest of the fight. We hit 100% of the time after using an X accuracy. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, this, in combination with Horn Drill, means we can one-shot any Pokemon we come up against, pretty much. There's some other caveats, but... We can pretty much just one-shot a Pokemon by using Horn... By using X accuracy, and then a Horn Drill, which is one-shot shit. It's, uh, totally fucking busted. Right, we're gonna get the Sylph Scope. And then we're gonna dig out to Lavender Town. Sorry, my explanation. Wait. Oh, dig out and then fly to Lavender Town. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, my explanation was a bit all over the place there. I, I hope you understood what I was trying to say. Well, I was, uh. I kept choking in the fucking. I kept fucking up the notes every time I opened my fucking mouth. Alright, uh, I don't wanna use this. Uh, so. How much health do we have? 35. We don't need to heal. Okay. Yeah, it's all a bit broken, right, big bigos? It's all of the X accuracy, all the X items are just kind of busted. They don't really work the way they're supposed to work. Okay. Right, flute splits. So, rival fight. Uh, so we're going to use an X accuracy uh, immediately here. And Pidgeotto is going to quick attack me. Good. That's fine. And we're going to Ice Beam Pidgeotto. I'm running out of Ice Beams. Oh, I'm about to heal. It's fine. Gen 1 is just a special kind of broken. Yeah. It's like, on the surface, if you play these games casually, it's fine. You might run into the odd problem. But if you, if you go digging, these games are absolutely fucked. <laughs> right, so uh, I have three Horn Drills and I used an X Accuracy earlier. So now we're just going to horn drill every single fight. Uh, every single attack here for the rest of the fight. And we're just gonna one shot all of this all of uh all of our rivals' Pokemon. Just for free. So this is another reason why Nidoking is absolutely ridiculous. Not only do you get a tier 3 Pokemon instantly, like I'm still fighting tier 2 Pokemon, right? But we get a tier 3 Pokemon, like, pretty much instantly. Uh he has really good stats. He can learn a shit ton of different moves, like we have Ice Beam, Rock Slide, uh, Horn Drill, all that stuff, but yeah. Uh, he, in addition to that, he can learn one-hit KO moves, like Horn Drill, which is really good. Um, which, uh, which makes it- he, he just is the best Pokémon to use for like, uh, wait, where am I going here? Uh, we take this fight, right? Yeah, I have to take this fight. Um, 
Yeah, he's just like the single best Pokemon to use as like a a one shot Pokemon for the entire run. Thanks, Kura, for 111 months, by the way. Uh, let me just not choke this a sec. Uh, Kura says, Oh boy, I made it to Pokemon, Josh approves. Sadly, missed Minecraft. Looking forward to the YouTube watch. Nice. Alright, well, thanks, Kura. Hello. Non GTA enjoyer. Bang. Do, 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 do. Right, anyways, this is the uh, this is the Pokemon graveyard or cemetery or whatever. There's a bunch of ghost Pokemon here and a bunch of other dead stuff. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really fit the theming of Pokemon any gens after this. Like having dead Pokemon is kind of strange. Uh, right, so we want to go here. We want to get this elixir. And then we're going to go up here. This way. I'm gonna go here, and this pad here heals us. It uh, fully heals all of our Pokemon, which is really good. So now I've got back up to full health, and all my Pokemon that were dead have been revived and stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Right, so we're just going to rock slide all of these ghastlies, I believe is the strategy. I'd love to see a bully playthrough for each to go. Yeah, that'll be fun, I hope. <laughs> I hope. hope I don't hate the game. Okay, we're going to rock slide this one. Yeah, I get all my PP back, all my Pokemon's health goes up, my dead Pokemon will come back to life. Yeah, my guy has 108 health now. If you hate it, you have to play it twice. I... know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this elixir. Oh, this is a rare candy, actually. Right, we get to fight a weird ghost Pokemon thing here. Um, but because we have the Sylph scope that we got from earlier, uh, it turns into a Marowak. Whoa. Uh, then we just run from the Marowak, because I don't give a shit. Oh wait, what? Oh, do I actually need to beat the Marowak? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Josh, Ice Beam the Marowak. Scroll up your notes a fucking tiny little bit, you idiot, and it says to Ice Beam it. Okay, my, my B lol. Should have used the Poker Doll, am I right? Ha 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 ha. Categories. Okay, anyway. Mmm. <laughs> All right, okay. Whoop. All right, this room's easy. We just go up. Okay, so... This guy, we just ice beam all of his Pokemon. Oh, hey, Bully might be relatable to you, considering your school history. Sure. Out of context, say that in Twitch chat. <laughs> sure. Okay, we beat that guy. Right, this rocket, uh, his coffin is actually annoying to deal with and is drowsy. So this guy, we're going to use X-Accuracy and Horn Drill one-shot combo. Josh was a bully is what's being said. Yes, that's what I referred to by just say that out of context in Twitch chat is what I, what people would think defragged means. That is not what happened, no. <laughs> Okay. Do 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 
do do do do do there's a ROM hack on Pokemon Fire Red called Pokemon Rocket Edition. It's pretty good and explains the backstory to everything a bit. Oh, that's interesting. No, there's so many ROM hacks. Oh, a crit! That crit actually mattered, I think. Okay, good. Alright, let's get the poker flute. Hello. I've already explained shake versus flash moves. I have not. Uh, yeah, there's two different moves you can use. One of them shakes the screen, one of them flashes the screen, and flash is uh, much faster. Right, we're gonna fly to Celadon? Okay, good. Uh, take the center, oh my god. Shake, but okay. Oh, sorry, shake is faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. I definitely didn't say it wrong, just so you would be correcting me in Twitch chat. I, I definitely, definitely didn't know that. Oh, sorry, I definitely, no, what am I trying to say? I didn't know that. Uh, right, we're gonna take the bike, we're gonna head on over to... The big business building over here? I don't know what it's called. Shake moves are the ones with secondary effects? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Dee dee diddly. Dee 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 dee. Right, fifth floor. That's floor four. I should have used the stairs. Never mind. Okay. Fifth floor. Let's get the hidden tree elixir, which is here. Okay, good. And we're gonna go down this way. And I'm gonna fight this dickhead. With his Arbok. Yeah, I realized when I saw the Vice City in the rerun yesterday, I should have said, when I said that the, the thing was Chinese and everyone freaked out and said it wasn't Chinese, I should have said, oh yeah, I'm just messing about. I know it's Korean. Did I just get paralyzed? What a dick! Do not paralyze me! Arsehole. Get horn drilled. Prick. So yeah, I missed a I missed an epic troll in Vice City yesterday. <laughs> right, there's the card key. And then we walk back over here and we take this teleporter. We walk over to here, and up here, we open this door, bingo! And then we fight the rival! Alright, this is a, uh, this is a classic fight, this is. Right, so this is what the run is going to be from this point out, pretty much. We're going to use an X accuracy. Okay, sand attack doesn't do anything anymore. We're going to use an X speed. We can quick attack, so that's fine. Uh, nice crit. Uh, and then we're going to horn drill. And all of his Pokemon are going to die. Because I'm horn drilling them. Hooray! Oh, sorry, the, the Growlithe we rock slide. Everything else we horn drill. Why didn't I Thunderbolt the Gyarados? Whatever. I'm not gonna question the notes. Get drilled, nerds. Rock Slide. So what's Rock Slide's secondary effect? Oh no, that was a flash, not a shake. Never mind. Wrong way around. 
I guess Horn Drill's secondary effect is that it's a one-hit KO. Oh my god, a Venusaur! Right. Doodle do 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 Right now we wanna use a max ether. Also I can get a uh, Venusaur for f for I can get a sorry, I can get a Lapras for free here. But I'm uh, not gonna do that. We're gonna use Max Ether on Horn Drill, right? Yep. Duh. What else would I be using it on? Right here, I'm gonna remember to walk to the left. Yeah, we don't need the Lapras because we have Squirtle. Bling. Okay. So we're gonna use another X accuracy. You can see how the run's gonna go from here. Ow! That hurt, dick. Uh, we're gonna horn drill. Nope, we were supposed to uh, bubble beam. Whoops. Uh... Huh. Hope that's not a problem. <laughs> hmm. Using my, using one of my limited to five one-hit KO attacks at the wrong time. Uh, seems like it might be a problem. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> How many horn drills do I have left? Hmm. <laughs> how, how many horn drills do I have left? Is it three? Or is it two? It's free, isn't it? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. It's all good. Fury attack? You bastard. Just maximum time waste. I'm pretty sure it's free. Yeah, well, it's fine. Alright, well, we horn drill this guy. Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Genghis Khan. We horn drill this guy. Jesus, I'm not 40. Fucking I'm such a high level. We ice beam this guy. Ooh, health bar glitched out then. And then we horn drill this one. Nice. Right, then we take the elevator to the 10th floor. I could have got the master ball there if I talked to that guy, but uh, we don't need the master ball this run. Right, temp floor. Then we walk to the left, and we get, uh, do I want the Sylph car boss? I do not want the Sylph car boss, so we just want the TM26 and the rare candy. Okay, and then we dig out. Okay. Now we go to Snorlax. <laughs> we use the poker flute to wake this guy up. Uh, poker flute there. Delightful. Snorlax woke up. Right, this is the one I run about. Run against them. I run against the Snorlax. Bloom. Thanks, so Bob Boss. Hello. Okay. Right. 
So we're now gonna, from here, we're gonna use, I should've done it earlier, we're gonna use a Super Repel. We're gonna swap Paralyze Heal with Rare Candy. And then we're gonna use the Poker Flute, yeah, okay. Uh, right, now we need to be very careful here. I don't fuck this movement up. This is very important. Okay, there's the rare candy. And we go this way, and we go down. Uh, we do get the pee, pee up. Wait, did I go past it? Uh, no, keep going. So six flowers after this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. Oh, I have no room for other items. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to... Huh. Huh. Do I get rid of this awakening? Why do I have an awakening? Uh... Wait. Okay, I'm just gonna use the rare candies now. That's probably the strats I'm gonna do, I think. Right, let's use the rare candies. Oh, I need to teach Earthquake. Right, okay, let's teach Earthquake. That's it. Teach TM26. Over Rock Slides. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I don't need Awakening anymore, that's true. Duh. Okay, we get Earthquake. Then, uh, yeah, we can toss the Awakening. Was I supposed to sell that at some point? Maybe I was. Um, right, then we get the PP up. Okay, then we swap HMO1. Oh, we'll just use the PP up, actually. We use it on Horn Drill. Obviously, why am I even questioning this? Okay, right, down we go. Oh my god, that was fucking confusing. I wonder why... Huh. Why was I full on items? I guess I've never have taken the PP up here. I would normally take it... I normally wouldn't take it at all, right? Yeah. Huh, interesting. Okay, right, well, we want to use a Super Repel here. Um, I use two rare candies. Um, or use three if it will keep it instead of ribbon or whatever. We'll use two rare candies. We swap HMO1 with TM26, we PP up, we teach TM26, yeah that's it, that's what we're supposed to do, right, okay. Ah, uh, oh, fuck me. Right, bicycle. Uh, I take the PP up here uh, if the tool tells me to, and the tool to told me to, so I took it. But, oops, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, but I didn't realise that would mean my inventory here is full if I try to do that. Um, so yeah, I guess I need to write in my notes to toss Awakening if before I try to pick that up. Okay. Okay, right. Safari Zone time. Uh, we are not getting the Safari car, boss. Uh, so we want to go... Up. This way. Up. Right, this way, up, we're not getting this car boss, we're going this way, up, to the right, up, down, up, right, left, <laughs> down, across, then from here we're going to use uh, Super Repel again. This way. This way. Don't want this item. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, 
Oh, gold teeth. I need that. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. No, we're not. We don't want the revive. Ah, oh, you know what? We're taking it. Fuck it. <laughs> Safe strats. We're gonna take the revive. I hope I don't run out of item slots later. Oh, I ran out of item slots already. Okay, fuck the revive. We don't need that. Didn't mean to take that. Okay, there we go. Right. Uh, and then we use dig to get out of here. Oh, I need to leave. We need to di oh. dig. Bleep, 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 bleep. Then we fly back to Fuchsia. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Right, then we go to Koga's gym. Do, 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 do. Bye, Super Appel. All right, Koga, it's Koga in time. So basically our strategy here is to just Earthquake every single Pokemon in here until it dies. Jim must be in San Francisco. Right. Uh, thanks, uh, Kim Sailor Bim, for uh, £10. I'll read your donation in a second. I just don't want to take an extra fight here. Okay, good. Uh, Kim Clip Sailor Bim says, Josh, can you say quack? Hash random. Uh, quack. <laughs> there, there you go. Blah, 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 blah. You done it. Josh Dunn Quack. Were you working on that joke for ages? <laughs> no, he didn't die. Okay, we got Ice Beam here. Oh, sorry, Thunderbolt. Oh! Huh. That's bad. Should have kept Revive, it turns out. Huh. Really wish I had that revive right about now. Okay, that's kind of bad. Don't disable. Kill me for fuck's sake. Kill me. End my fucking misery. Okay. Well. Where do we spawn? Doesn't matter, I can fly. It's, this isn't the end of the world, it's just a bit shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill him. Kill me! Oh my god, Hypno, fucking kill me for Christ's sake. I swear to god, if I kill this Hypno... Uh, I better not kill this Hypno. If we kill this Hypno and win this fight, we're gonna miss a ton of experience. Wait, what am I doing? I should poke a flute. That doesn't matter, I got it. Okay, fucking hell, man. Jesus. Okay. Well, that's kind of shit. Uh, we just have to fly back there. I don't really matter. Yeah, that's kind of shit. Okay, we'll just have to uh, try that again. I'm gonna get a teeny tiny bit more XP than I'm supposed to, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I can't believe I died there. Huh. Yeah, he he used confusion and he used the one attack that could have killed me out of his tool set. 
That's really fucking annoying. Okay, whatever. So this drowsy we kill twice, which is not supposed to happen in the route, but that's fine. I don't think the uh, I don't think the XP and stat difference is going to make much of a difference. Hope you did not have much money. I don't spend money anymore the rest of this run. The, the money doesn't matter. Chat, what's the ETA? It's on the screen, my dude. Okay, look, see that time I just killed him. Okay, whatever. You could use a rare candy as a revive, Josh. Can you use a rare candy in fights? I'm I'm funnily enough about to use rare candy as a revive, but after this uh, gym fight, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't use rare candy in fights. But uh, the strategy to beat Koga is that we're gonna just go to earthquake all of his Pokemon, and then we're going to uh, and then we're gonna use. Well, I don't need to use the elixir now. I finally have an extra elixir because I just died. You know what? I'm just gonna try to kill Weezing. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go with the suicide strat. We're just gonna try to one-shot it. Of course, he uses self-destruct. Whatever. This is a tactical death. If it actually kills me, it didn't even kill me. Yeah, whatever. Shh, fuck it. I don't even give a shit at this point. Okay. Do 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 do. Make space for this, my child. Right, exit Koga's gym. Okay. Uh, if you need the mansion car boss and have one or more rare candies, no. Uh, we're gonna bike to the warden's house. We don't need any of the car bosses. Is this one's the warden's house? Okay, we're gonna give him the gold teeth. We're gonna get the HMO4 for it. Good stuff. Uh, then we're gonna fly to Pallet Town. Boop, boop, boop. Go down here, and we're gonna surf. Nope, not not dig. We're gonna surf with squirt. Oh, oh! I never taught surf. Right, that's what I need to do now, you idiot. Uh, teach HMO free. Use super repel. Teach HMO free to Squirtle. Why do I teach strength? Oh, well. Okay, we're surfing. To the mansion. This is the mansion. Relevant. Did GTA 4 earlier. Right, we're gonna go up and around here. I'm gonna use the switch. Secrets. And then we're gonna go over here, fall down this hole. I'm gonna avoid the scientist. And we're gonna ignore the car boss, we don't need it. Right, I'm not getting the car boss. We need to teach HMO4 to Squirtle, over tackle. That puts strength to the top of the list. Right, we scroll up to use a super repel. We put, oops, we put the cursor on rare candy. Okay, and then we go up like this. This way. 
I'm going to take the secret switch. Who wouldn't? No car, boss. Yeah, exactly. We're going to avoid this fight. We're going to press this secret switch. Who wouldn't? We're going to go up and take this item. Ooh, a rare candy. And we're going to go over here and take this item. Ooh, a rare candy. Uh, no more room for items. So now we're going to use all remaining rare candies on Nidoking. He's going to be such a fucking high level, dude. Oh my words. Okay. Oh, 47. I have such a high level Nido. I'm going to take the secret key and now we're going to dig out of here. The two items below the key card are not needed. Does that mean I can throw them? Whatever, I'm going to leave it. Right. We're going to fly to Cinnabar Island. Now that we've got the secret key. What a beast, yeah. Yeah, I just leveled him up loads just so because he had shit stats, right? But uh, this makes it uh, this makes it a lot safer, right? With, with shit stat nid around, I don't have much choice. Okay, right, we're gonna avoid all these dickheads. I can't remember if they have sight or not, so we're just gonna avoid them. Right now, here's the puzzle. It's uh, Cappy evolves into Butterfree. In my opinion, is not correct, but you say yes anyway. <laughs> I hate these questions. They're worded so badly. Oops. Okay, then we're gonna... There are nine bad gym badges, which is incorrect, so we say no. Aren't rare candy levels worse than normal levels? For complicated reasons, yes. But the option is, but rare candy levels are better than no levels at all. <laughs> you know? Repels effect war off. Okay. Yeah, the option here is we either level up with beating Pokemon or we level up with rec. Oh, sorry. The option is we don't level up at all because we're not fighting any more Pokemon really that we're going to level up with. We're not going to grind. Or we take four extra free, le like four extra levels for free. We just take the four levels, right? Yeah, and the the level up is the same. It's we're losing stat XP from not being lower level po like Pokemon, but we're gonna beat all the like. Okay, in this run, we we fight the minimum amount of Pokemon as we can because you know speed runs. So the the stat XP we get is set. We're never gonna get more or less stat XP unless I fuck up the route. Um, the rare candies were just with rare candies, our level will just be higher, right? Our stat XP is always going to be exactly the same. But the extra rare candies will still just raise our level, and a level is better than no level. Right, we're going to X Accuracy. And we're going to Earthquake. Okay, good. And now, it's Horn Drill time. Do 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 It's horn drilling time. Okay, good. Take that. Okay, I just saved a ton of time on my PB. <laughs> Uh, right, what are we doing? Not to Sabrina. Okay. Uh, bike to Sabrina's gym. Got it. Um, yeah, so, uh, I lost a bunch of time on Koga. I can't imagine why. But, uh, I just saved a bunch of time on, uh, on Blaine. 
And now I'm uh, I'm ahead of PB again by 50 seconds. Do 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 do. Uh, Sabrina, diagonal twice, down once. Teleporters have vision. Hug bottom wall. Diagonal, diagonal, down. Uh, I'm actually scared of this fight, so we're gonna save. Uh, the strategy for Sabrina is Earthquake four times, according to the tool. So we're going to believe the tool, and we're just going to Earthquake four times. Okay, don't let me now, Nitto King. Dude, if I finish this run, I will have finished the run with 1 HP, 0 attack, 6 defense, 10 speed, free special. <laughs> Jesus. I'm out of earthquakes. That was my last earthquake. Right? Shit. Uh, did I miss an elixir at some point? Okay, uh, I guess we just uh, Thunderbolt and pray. I do have a horn drill, but I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. That was a crit? We're gonna die. Right. Uh, huh. Good thing I saved. We're gonna Ice Beam and pray? Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Crit. Oh! <sighs> okay, that's a fight I won. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was scary. Alright, uh, dig out after using a teleporter. Uh, would you believe me if I said I lost time on that fight? <laughs> right, Erica's gym is fine. Uh, whoop. Because, uh, Erica, none of her Pokemon, none of the Pokemon here hit me even once, so, oops. So it doesn't matter that we're low health here. Good strat to get red bar. Y yeah! Run out of earthquakes somehow. Oh! It's because I used extra earthquakes in Blaine's ch in uh, Koga's gym. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 I earthquaked wheezing to death, didn't I? Whoopsie. Okay, it's fine. So we're gonna use ice beam. Oh, that was weird. So wait, when I go to Giovanni's gym, it doesn't tell me to use an elixir or anything, and it tells me to use earthquakes, but I don't have earthquakes. Ha. Huh. What has happened here? I mean, I did save an elixir, right? So I guess I could just use one now. I have an extra one. I'm just going to use an extra elixir. Whatever. I swear, every time I get to this part on the run, I'm like, wait, I don't have enough moves for that. There must be an elixir usage I'm forgetting somewhere. Like, I must be missing an elixir usage in my, sp in my notes. I don't understand. Right. Well, Giovanni's gym. I'm going to use an elixir now. I do have an extra one. Whoops. Uh, 
Do 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 Right, so uh, here's another scary fight. Uh, oh, this fight doesn't see me, right? Oh. No, this isn't the scary fight, right? Yeah, yeah, I am supposed to fight this guy. God, I've had a fucking heart attack then. Yeah, I'm supposed to take this fight, this is just an ice beam. But yeah, I need to, the black belt, I need to earthquake. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, the black belt, I'm supposed to X accuracy and then horn drill. Oh, right, that explains the elixir. Uh, okay, um, let's save here. Right, I understand. I understand what's happened. I used all my earthquakes on Sabrina and then I was supposed to X accuracy and horn drill the black belt and not X accuracy. Uh, sorry, not, 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 not earthquake. Okay, well, we'll just do what it says. I'm gonna use an X accuracy. I might die here? I did not. Now we just horn drill. Okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. I had an extra elixir, it doesn't matter. Just get back onto the elixir route when I'm supposed to. And we'll all be, we'll be, we'll be all good. Okay. Good. Oh no, it says, if you somehow used extra earthquakes or ice beams, elixir now. It says after the black belt, so that works. Okay. Do, 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 do. God, this is so fucking confusing and complicated. Alright, let's just save before we fight this guy. Just in case I fuck this up somehow. Right, Giovanni. Yeah, so I should have I should have elixir now, which would have given me all my horn drills back. But that's fine. I'll just uh, I'll use an elixir at, at the at the next part. Okay. So ice beam. Dump trio. Ice beam. Nido queen. Earthquake. Yeah, I need to horn drill... I need to horn drill the rival three times. So that's fine, I can do that. Nido King Earthquake. Yeah, so I can elixir after the rival. Ride on. Uh, Ice Beam. He shouldn't kill me? Oh, I crit him. Nice. That crit mad. Do 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 that crit mad a lot. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Do 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 Right, let's do this. Elite four, here we go. Onwards. Lucky, uh I'm so lucky this run. Right, use a super repel bike. And I don't need to use an elixir. Hello, chum. Bling. Pidgeot. Right. So we want to, uh, we want to X accuracy. Oh yeah, and it just spams agility, doesn't it? X speed. Thunderbolt twice. Yeah, it just spams agility because it thinks it's super effective against Nidoking. Uh, ice beam. 
Yeah, that's another good thing with Nido King is that the AI is not very good against Nido King. Gyarados, Thunderbolt. <laughs> and then these other three Pokemon, we just horn drill because I have three horn drills. Beautiful. We in there, boy. We in there, boy. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Driller gang, yeah. Alright! That's rival done. Yeah, boy! Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that because it's gonna be annoying. Alright! Victory Roads! Here we go. Oops, shit. Driller Killer for life. Oh my god, it's a boulder badge! Oh my god, it's a Cascade Badge! Oh, we don't get epic music because we get bicycle music. Oh my god, it's a Thunder Badge! Oh my god, it's a Rainbow Badge! Not Strength. Okay, you can move boulders, that's great, Squirtle. Can we, can we surf now? Oh my god, it's a soul badge! There's a reverse badge order category, yeah. Oh my god, it's a marsh badge! And uh, there are tutorials, Robert, not like video ones, but written ones, which is what I'm using. Um, you go on Pokemon Speedruns website. I don't remember the Pokemon Speedruns.net or what, but uh, wait, I don't need to. Uh, 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 duh, duh. Oh my god! Uh, a ditto. Volcano badge. Hooray! Okay, there we go. D D D D. Oh my god, it's an Earth Badge! Alright. So we're gonna stand in here, we're gonna use a Super Repel. We're gonna use Strength. And we're gonna push this bad boy... ...over to the other side. Can't wait for Swag Boulders. There you go. There's your swag boulder. Fuck. So I'm losing time and steps trying to do the swag boulder. I'm gonna stop now. Uh, right, then we go up here, around this. We don't fight this trainer. We go around. We don't fight this trainer. Uh, we go from there to there. We go down here. We push this bad boy. That way. We go along here. We don't fight this trainer. Uh, what are my notes trying to say here? We go this way. Then up here. Then from here we push this boulder up. Oh god. Whoops. Do 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 Don't take this fucking ladder that always confuses me. Instead we go here. We 
don't fight this fucking trainer. We go this way, we avoid these dickheads. And then we push this boulder in this hole. Should use the bike first. Actually, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Oops, wrong way. Jesus, Josh. And then we push this boulder all the way over to this button, and then we win the game. Diddle Win the game. Let's fucking go. Oh no, my rappel. Uh, we don't heal, we just fucking YOLO. Right, uh, swap. Uh... What are we doing? We swap to the bird, yeah, and then we fight. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay. So we swap to the bird here, um, before the fight. Um, I don't know why I did that, actually. Whatever, I should have done it in the fight, it doesn't matter. Um, we swap to the bird because Doodong is going to use Aurora Beam. It's programmed to always use Aurora Beam on its first attack. Uh, now that it's done that, it's not going to do that. So now we X Accuracy, and he uses Rest. And now we didn't use the Elixir. <laughs> now we use the Elixir. <laughs> and then he Aurora Beams me and I die horribly. Fuck. I didn't save. I was thinking about it, but I didn't do it. Do I have enough elixirs? I think I do, right? I had an extra elixir and I didn't use an extra elixir, did I? I kept the extra elixir. It's fine, we'll be alright. We'll just have to do it again. That was fucking stupid. My bad lol. <laughs> we'll try that again. Why didn't he heal at center? Because it wastes time. There's no reason to heal at the center. Do, 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 do. If I do this fucking correctly, we don't need to do that. God, I can't believe I used the elixir. That's so annoying. Okay, right, here we go. Try again. Jesus. Yeah, I lost red bar because I healed, which was annoying. Okay, so we try again. We use an attack. He uses Aurora Beam. Okay, we switch to A. We use X accuracy again. I think I have extras, so we should be good. I bought extra X accuracies, didn't I? Yeah, because I had extra money. Okay, that's good. Okay, Cloister. Don't think about it too hard. We horn drill this one. Slow bro. We horn drill this one. Good. Jinx. We horn drill this one. Good. Lapras. Hey, guess what? Oh, uh, guess what? We horn drill this one. Good. All right. Okay. Then before Bruno, we need to use an elixir. How many more elixirs am I using? It is just two more elixirs, right? No, it's just one more elixir. I still have an extra elixir. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's good. 
Right, before Bruno, we use another... I'm gonna save, just in case this isn't right and I'm about to fuck myself. Okay, we're gonna use an elixir. On Nido, and we're gonna go in. Right, Bruno. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the last elixir I used in the run, right? No, it can't be, because I use... Oh no, I use elixir before Agatha. Right, okay, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. So, Onyx, X Accuracy. Uses X Defense, I use Ice Beam. I'm so glad I took fucking the X... I'm so glad I took the Underground Nugget. I'm so glad I had the foresight to do that. And buy extra X items, oh my god. Right, we horn drill, hit on Chan. We horn drill, hit on Lee. And then we ice beam Onyx. And then we horn drill Machamp. Good. Right, now we use our last elixir. Uh, I don't need to use a super potion because I'm full health. I was full health all of these fights. Because I fucking died. Right, so we use an elixir. This is our last elixir. Okay. Mmm, that would have been bad. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, almost used the elixir on the flyer Pokemon. Thank god it was dead. Alright. Jesus. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Right, Agatha, here we go. The strat for Agatha is to use an X speed on uh, Gengar. Blah, blah. X speed. Hypnosis, didn't do anything. Earthquake. Okay. Then the Golbat. We want to Ice Beam twice. Confuse Ray. I don't know what the plan is here. I don't think I want to swap because then I lose the X speed. Chat, what's my plan here? Right, he used Haze, didn't matter. We're all good. <laughs> Haunter. We Earthquake. I just lost X speed. Oh, because of the haze. Right. Let's use X speed again on uh, Arbok. Bite shouldn't do anything. We earthquake again. Okay. It's fine. We just need to outspeed the last Gengar. Yeah, okay. Glad I bought extra X speeds. Okay, that's fine. Gengar, Earthquake. Alright, we're fine. We in there. Good. Okay, 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 we're figuring it out. I forget, uh, Haze removes the fucking X speed as well. Do 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 Right, heal to a lot of health before Lance. I'm just gonna fucking heal to full. I'm not even gonna think about it. I have a super repel extra. Must have bought extra because of my uh, money or whatever. Yeah, that's not quite full, but whatever, that's good enough. Ah, I've heard about you, Jay. Right, X special. Hydro pump, that hurts. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Oh, that fucking smarts. Dick. 
Alright. Track and air. Ice beam. Dragon Air again. X speed, which is up. Agility, very cool. Ice Beam. Okay, we should win from here. Aerodactyl. The Ice Beam. Good. Come on, Nido, Nido King. Low percentage Nido King is gonna do this. Dragonite, Ice Beam. Yes. Okay, final fight. Super Potion. Not that one. I hate having a fucking not Nido King at the top. Let's do this. Do, do, do. Holy shit, the Nido peasant might make the run, yeah. Okay, here we go. The best thing about the rival fight is it turns battle animations back on, so you don't have a choice. You have to go slow, but you have to go in style. So we X accuracy. Whirlwind does nothing. I think we win from here. We X speed. How many X accuracies do I have left? Is it one? Mirror move. Very cool. No, oh, free. Okay. Uh, horn drill. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, chat, guess what? Horn drill. We win from here. I just need to mash A till the game ends. This is going to be a, a PB. Horn drill. Shit, I fucking PB'd. My PB is 2 hours and 33 minutes. Uh, I'm about to do this in like 227. I did doubt this Nido, yeah. Dude, I fucking carried this Nido so fucking hard. We got so lucky at so many points. There were so many times I was like, whoops. The only time anything bad happened was dying against fucking Drowsy. <laughs> but then I just had to walk across the street, right? And then fight it again. If that hadn't have happened, I would have saved so much fucking time. But, you know, whatever. The Nido with heart. Yeah. This Nido didn't need stats. It had luck and determination. That's all you need to win. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Here's the his Nido's stats on a scale of zero to fifteen. <laughs> One, zero, nine, ten. It's pretty good. Three. <laughs> yeah. The only thing it had was speed, which made it so we didn't have to pick up a bunch of car bosses because it was fast enough. But my fucking god, it was trash in every other not every other way. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. Nido peasant did it. Did I say nine? Whatever. Even the tool was saying reset. Yeah. But I did every fucking safety strat I needed to, and we got to the damn end of the run. I did it. I unfortunately took Squirtle and uh, the other Pokemon with me because I was a coward and didn't want to deposit them in case I needed them, so we have to sit through some extra stuff here. But that's fine. Next time, do non classic and just learn the manips. No! <laughs> The RNG is what makes Pokemon fun, and you won't change my mind. 2.25 in game time. I didn't reset at any point, so that's correct. Time! Hooray! I did it. Nice! With a fucking 
shit, Nido. I got to the end. People were telling me to reset at the start of the run. I was thinking about it. But we just got there. We beat Misty. We got through the SSN, just barely. We did it all. We beat Koga eventually. Uh, Erica, we got... F uh, sorry, Sabrina, we got fucking lucky against. Uh, I fucked up my Elixir route a little bit. But because I picked up extra stuff, we were fine. Second try, Hypno, yeah. What a silly fucking run that was. What a silly fucking run. Alright, sick. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this was one hell of a Pokemon Red run. <laughs> one hell of a Pokemon Red run. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got through it. I'm glad all my practice paid off. Thanks for the people in chat helping me with stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, this was supposed to be the last run of the day, but it's only 20 past 8. Uh, how long is Crash Tag Team, uh, sorry, Crash Tag Team Racing? Crash Team Racing is an hour! Okay, I say we have exactly enough time for a Crash Team Racing run. Uh, there aren't any other runs short enough that I know that I can do. So we're gonna have an extra, an extra run in the marathon, because today went so damn fast. I was an hour underestimate with GTA 4, and I was half an hour underestimate with Pokemon Red. So uh, we get an extra run. I'm gonna set up for Crash Team Racing. Give me like 10, 15, 20 minutes, uh, and I'll do a Crash Team Racing run for you. Bonus run! Yay! Alright, thanks a lot. I'll be back in like, I don't know, however long it takes to convince my PSTV to turn on. <laughs> back in a bit.